Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got an exciting new product to work with today from Time USB. I've never worked with Time USB before, but I'm gonna find out if they got quality products or not. Their motto, by the way, is time full of energy, useful, stable, and blissful. I hope that's the case. I'm gonna find out today. Today I'm focusing on this 40 amp lithium iron phosphate battery charger. It's got some unique features that separates it from other chargers on the market and an affordable price point to boot. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. We'll cover this battery in upcoming video. So let's get right into it. Here's the charger out of its box. If you wanna see an unboxing video, I'll have a YouTube short for that. Here is the charger. There are two versions of this 40 amp charger from Time USB. One is the semi standard version, which is this one right here. It's got wall mount brackets and all that. And there's another version that's a bench top. It does not have the wall brackets, but it has a digital display. I opted for the wall mount because it's gonna be used on the wall for the 12 volt rig here. So I went with the more basic version so I can mount it on the wall. And here's some quick dimensions, total length of the charger, if you include the wall bracket, right at 11 and a half inches. And the width of the charger is roughly five and five sixteenths. And the depth of the charger, roughly two and three quarters. So when you pick up one of these chargers, what do you get? Well, of course you get the charger itself. You get an Anderson connector to connect to your battery. You get plastic wall anchors and screws to mount it to a wall. You have your AC wall cord, your power cord to go to the charger, and you have a product manual. And first off the bat, what I do like about this charger over others of this size range is it actually comes with eight gauge cables. That is actually sufficient to carry the 40 amps that this charger is supposed to put out. So nice eight gauge cables, nice ring terminals right there, good quality Anderson connectors, plenty of cable length to work with to connect to your batteries, however you need to use it. And some of the features of this charger, the price, amazingly low price. And they have sometimes have stackable coupons on Amazon too. So you can clip your coupon and have another percentage off. So watch for the sales on this. You know, this thing is 120 right now, but there have been times I've watched this charger and it's been down around 110 bucks. It just depends on what your coupons are. So that is pro number one, that it has a very affordable price point. Um, charging it'll charge from 100 to 240 volts ac input 50 to 60 hertz so it's got a wide range of ac input so good for your generators also got over temperature protection built in to the charger it's got short circuit protection built into the charger it's got reverse polarity protection so if you accidentally connect something backwards it won't charge one of my favorite features about this budget friendly 40 amp charger from time usb is it's got a bms wake up function so if you happen to over discharge one of your lithium iron phosphate batteries and the BMS wouldn't put any voltage out to your terminals during the pre-charge stage of this charger's algorithm it can detect that and it will trigger your BMS to wake back up bring the voltage up and start charging your battery as normal so that's nice to have this feature on your charger now as I was saying earlier in the video this is the more basic version of their 40 amp charger it's got a LED indicator that shows you the status of the charging or if there's any errors in the charger or the battery or anything it gives you a flash code to let you know what's going on all that is outlined in the product manual but if you prefer a LCD display to show you your voltages and amperages and things like that I'll have a link to their other 40 amp model the benchtop version I was referring to as well in the description and according to Time USB, the actual internal build of the charge circuitry is exactly the same between this charger and the charger with the built-in display. Let's hook it up and see how efficient it is. See if it actually puts out full power and uh, you know what our input to output is. All right, so the little Anderson that was included was not long enough to reach between my bus bars on the 12 volt system. So I made up a six gauge uh, Anderson connector so I could charge this 12 volt system. All right, for reference on the 12 volt system shunt, the lights are pulling 5.73 amps. Solar is off on both charge controllers, so no input is coming in. This is just the lights. And I'm gonna use the Zendor power station to power the charger. A power meter right here to check the power that the charger is consuming. So we'll see its efficiency. We'll see what it takes on the AC side and what it's giving us on the DC side to get an efficiency uh, reading on the time USB charger. 
So first, I'm going to connect the Anderson connector to my pre-installed Anderson connector on the 12-volt system. So there's our Anderson connector. And the switch is off right here. It's got a user interface switch or a power switch sitting right there. So that is off. So now I'm going to connect to the Zendor uh, power station. I'll show you the readings in just a second. But just so you know, I am plugging into the Zendor. So now I'll come over here and hit the switch. Let me get you off the tripod here. I'll just try to show you the pre pre-charge stage right there it just trickles it with a little bit of current just to check the battery's health and to make sure the voltage and everything is right it checks its parameters and then you can hear the fan see the led is on right there on red so it's indicating charging the fan is running hard on it the cooling fan so remember we were pulling right at six amps just a smidge less than six amps off the 12 volt system so we're putting 464 watts in there right now, 34.7 amps. And I'm going to temporarily kill the lights. So it'll just be the inverter idle draw. So right there, 39.7.8 amps, 530 watts. And the inverter draws about nine or 10 watts idle consumption. So turn the lights back on. So yes, it actually delivers right at its 40 amps, like promised. So now let's get a efficiency reading. So the charger is consuming 613.9, let's just call that 614 watts uh, on the AC side. And there's with the inverter completely off. So it is giving us 537 watts, true 40 amps to the battery bank. Nice, it actually delivers what it claims. So now let's check the efficiency, do a little bit of math. So for efficiency on this charger, we had 614 in, 537 out. So we divide those out, 0.87459, which would be roughly 87.5% efficient. Uh, not too bad for 12 volt stuff. It's a good thing about this long cord, you can move it somewhere else. We can look at it over here. I'm trying to give you the sound of it. The fan's got a little bit of noise, but it's not bad. It's way quieter than an inverter fan. Just kind of give me a full, full effect of what it sounds like. All right, now for efficiency check versus a different unit, I took the time USB off. I've got a, we'll just call it a no name 20 amp charger. So let's do the same efficiency check on this 20 amp charger to compare. All right, on the 20 amp charger, 259 watts going into the battery bank with no load and the inverter is off. And the 20 amp charger, 309.2.4, uh, say 310. So, so the little charger right there, the little 20 amp, 310 watts AC power in, 259 watts DC power out. So 259 divided by 310 is 0.835, 83.5% efficient, which is pretty standard or 12 volt chargers. So that's what I was kind of expecting out of the time USB was around 85%. Let's just call that ballpark average for these style chargers here about 85. And then the time USB did 87.5. So yes, above average efficiency level on their 12 volt charger. <laughs> nice. Now for a reverse polarity test. You can see right here, I've got the Anderson connected backwards. Your buddy's been messing with you and said black to red and red to black. He messed with you and you fell for it and you hooked your leads up wrong. So let's see if the battery charger actually has reverse polarity protection. So remember, this is hooked up backwards. Don't try this at home. So hook the charger up, reverse polarity, and then I'm going to power up the charger and make sure the reverse polarity protection actually works. So let me get the cord over here and here goes the power switch right there. Oh, it did not like that. Saw the inductive load on that wire make that wire jump that it was backwards. So right there, we have an indicator. It pulsed it during its pre-charge. You saw those wires jump together and it stopped. Did not hurt anything. So the charger's on, it shut down, see that? Cooling fan went off. That was part of its pre-charge circuit test. So let me just check and make sure we still have power on the BMS, not trigger the BMS or anything like that. You can see we still have the error indication on the time usb charger so here's a little b-shot meter to make sure the bms is still active on this battery and it is 13.18 so it did not hurt the bms did not make a spark and anything like that the pre-charge circuit caught it 
So excellent. So let me reverse it and verify that it charges properly. So I'm gonna hit the switch right there. I'll reverse these leads. All right, you came back to your senses and hooked your wires up the right way. So I'm gonna turn the charger back on right here by the switch right there. So our indicator should come back to normal charge circuitry now since everything is right. So let's do an its pre-check right now. Give it just a second. All right, and back to charging. So good, works like it's supposed to. And let me just go ahead and show you the voltage on the battery while it's under charge. You saw a minute ago it's 13.18. And you can see it's pushing into it pretty hard. 13.63 volts going into the battery. So uh, a charger like this, 40 amp charger on a 100 amp hour battery, uh, you know, two and a half hours, give or take, to charge this battery instead of five hours with a standard 20 amp charger. And that's going to be very helpful, you know, for you if, you if you're on a time crunch, you're fishing or camping, you need a battery charge quick, or if you're running a generator and don't want to burn as much fuel, the efficiency of this charger plus the quick charge time, well, of course, will save you time and money. So I'm going to let this battery charge for a little while. I'll be running the proverbial snot out of this thing over the next few weeks uh we're near solstice uh you know 12 volt rig's kind of slack right now i've been robbing it down for all kind of different purposes but i'm going to mount this charger on the wall somewhere i have not determined where i'm putting it yet but it's going to be tied in to the 12 volt rig i've got to bring a generator power port and stuff in right here so this charger will be back up for rainy days or for when i need to do tests on these batteries so you'll see a lot more of this charger in upcoming videos. You'll see this too yeah, a few days from now whenever I get some time to work on this battery and check it out. Uh, but yeah, this charger, yeah, as far as its efficiency and its protection, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I can recommend it right now. If anything changes, I'll let you know. And thank you, Time USB, for sending in this charger for me to check out. I really appreciate you. Couldn't have done this video without you. And same thing with your battery. Uh, I'll check it out and let everybody know what I think about it here coming up soon. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you all for watching. Questions or anything, put in the comment section. I'll see you next time.